you know, you mentioned sports betting, so if you don't mind, I'm going to give you a little uh, sure. my, my own view on, on that. So I, I think that's a phenomenal business, obviously. And I look at it and say, here we are trying to struggle with regulation in the security token or, yeah. or, or uh, crypto world. And, but yet, anyone could go out and literally gamble on any particular sporting event without having to go through KYC, AML, yeah. or any kind of you know, uh, requirement. And I think at some point, at least I, I hope, that at some point I think that the market will open up. If, you're, if you can go out and, and gamble your money, why wouldn't you be able to invest in a startup? Yeah. You know, in a properly regulated environment. Yeah, you, you know, I, I, I don't think the, the, the general public and industry uh, appreciate that blockchain and cryptocurrency is not about being anonymous. Right. right. It's actually about being transparent. That's a great point. That's a great point. Right? Yeah. The, the reason that the, you know, the famous, uh, um, you know, Silk Road and all of those things mm -hmm. that, that went down, it's because they used cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. It's immutable. You, all you have to do is follow the money, right? right? So by, by putting in, uh, by, by combining the, this fantastic technology with existing regulations, I think what's going to end up happening is in almost every single case, certainly that I've been able to come to think through, what we're doing is reducing friction, right? right? Mm -hmm. We're providing a trustless environment. We're providing an environment where a piece of technology can absolutely and totally verify you and your credit rating right. doesn't have to reveal your identity mm -hmm. because your identity can be can be cryptographically protected mm -hmm. exponentially more than it is right now, right. Right? right? And it can and it can still be verified that you have a particular credit rating or a particular bank balance or a particular uh, yeah, you know uh, advertising like or you opted into something but not something else or your it is your credit card or I, like it is going to and and I don't have to ever, and I can trust it and I don't know who you are and I've never done a piece of paperwork with you I never had to do a phone interview I never had to get an email address from you and nothing period end of story yep. the, it, the the economy is is it, the the internet increased our ability to communicate right yep. and blockchain will will decrease any friction for us to transact right exactly. and and so in every case whether it's whether it is sport betting whether it is uh, there's a lot of industries out there mm -hmm. that um, that actually will grow exponentially because of the increased transparency that they're going to be able to have agree like like something like a betting right, right? Exactly. You, I know that no, like done right no 17 year old is going to be betting whether it's on, whether right. it's whether they're winning skins you know in Fortnite or whether right. they're trying to do some sport betting right. it ain't gonna happen <laughs>